I am the type of guy that's determined not to be stopped or I refuse to be beat at anything. That one play happened so fast that I don't know what happened. Bam, and I was gone. The guy can flat out fly. I mean, from the first uh, 20 yards, I don't know if there's anybody as, as fast as he is. I mean, pure and simple explosion. I kind of felt the guy breathing down my back, so I had to turn it up just a notch just to make sure that I got in the end zone. All right, Bo, now when you get the ball, I mean, what are you thinking? I mean, where is it that you know this is going to be a long one? I know that it's going to be a long run after I get past the, um, past the backers. And as far as the defensive backs are concerned, if I don't have to do all the crap I did this past Saturday as far as cut back and jump over somebody and stumble, I don't worry about getting caught, period. Jay knocked the guy out of the way and he fell right in front of me. I leaped over him. I lost my balance. I stumbled for about six yards. And when I come up, I just started running. They were lucky that I didn't just fall down at the 20 because I was running on fumes. <laughs> there was nothing there. Was, was it at about the 20 yards that that oh, bear sort of got on your back? The bear, the wife, the uncle, the grandpa, everybody. It wasn't too big a deal to me. To me, it still was a, a 88 yard run and uh, that it almost resulted into a touchdown. You just have to look at him and shake your head. You know, I mean, me and Marcus went out on the field and told him to get in the end zone and everything like that. But when he came to the sideline, we just looked at him. We just shook our head because, I mean, I don't know of any other back in the league who could have made that run except uh, Bo Jackson. Perhaps the greatest seventh-round draft pick of all time, Bo Jackson has now achieved all-star status in both football and baseball, truly having the best of both sporting worlds. Bo Jackson, a very fortunate individual to be a associate with the Raiders, Al Davis, a genius who knows how to use him, gets him for half a year. You have a coach, Art Shell, who uh, allows him to be a designated hitter in football. We've never had that before. And we have Marcus Allen, who is uh, a great player that's very accommodating. Averaging 6.2 yards per carry this season, Bo is already being compared to the great backs. And although he needs slightly over 200 carries to qualify, he is on a pace to take the career lead. The current leader is still not impressed. Don't ask me to compare myself to a half a season guy. In any way, that's insulting to all of us who had to play in the snow and who had to bleed out of our nose and who had to, like, have an average when we had to carry on third down and one in uh, our touchdowns when there's one yard to go when the defense was stacked to a guy that comes in with the perfect circumstances. I mean, uh, it's a new day. Comparisons aside, Bo is a modern-day phenomenon and has achieved a unique athletic standard. I see myself part human and part deer. I love the way, just like when I'm out hunting, I love the way the deer runs when they're in the run, when they're out in the woods. They're quiet, but they move so fast till it's unreal. And that's the type of person that I take pride in trying to be.